Hey guys, this is June because I was born in June and welcome to my amazing software review today. So in today's session, I'm going to review this Google extension that is very, very good for uh, anyone who is doing Facebook organic marketing and it's called Friends Connector. Actually, I've heard about this tool um, uh, when I started like last year since i started last year i heard about it but then i never got the chance to actually use it up until recently i have used this soft uh, go extension for about um two weeks i think two weeks i think that's why i want to do a demo and also a review of a, about this software here and then um of course whenever i do a software review i will always talk about what i love about this google extension software and then what i wish that it could have it could have improved so in today's i'm just going to cover two parts and then let's stay tuned to the end hey guys welcome back so this is uh, actually a demo and this friends connector is a google extension so if let's say you guys can see my extension list here there's like this icon it is called friends connector pro okay i'm right now i'm just going to do a demo okay before we get started by demonstrating right what this tool can help you to do it can actually help you to do a lot of things but the two major one will be firstly based on the certain keywords like let's say you want your your let's say your target client is uh, maybe coaches all right or maybe particularly mindset coach okay or any entrepreneurs out there so these are your niche target and you want to make sure that you are going inside like some of the really big facebook group very uh targeted uh very niche targeted facebook group and add all these friends who are either coach or mindset coach or entrepreneurs so this tool can automatically help you to find who will be fitting into like the coach or entrepreneurs or mindset coach you can set the keywords they want and then add them so that's the first thing and the second thing that you always want to do is that after you're adding them right after you're adding your potential clients you want to make sure that you send a first message to them right so that facebook know that hey you guys know each other like if let's say you guys have interaction facebook will then show more of your posts more of your written posts that you've written on your profile to this pool of uh, potential clients that's where you guys can actually build a relationship by having the first dm so without this tool probably what you do is that you either do it yourself by manually sending the message or maybe you're actually hire hiring a virtual assistant to do it for you but then with this tool all these are being automated. I'm just going to share you guys right away. So right now, if let's say you guys see my screen, right, I'm actually trying to use this demo in Penguin's group, Game, Ch Game Changers group, <laughs> all right? So if let's say you guys are my Penguin friend, you know how I added you guys, okay? And of course, do not spam sending message to everyone. It's just not the right way. You have to use like really value providing. I've been providing a lot of values in this Facebook group. That's why um, by going to this group and adding them, it makes sense for me, all right? So this is the group. Like let's say, right now I'm just going to open my friends connected pro. Can you guys see that? This is going up. Okay, so lookup interval is just like, uh, we, we don't want to make the, to make, Facebook feel like we are a robot. So that's why I use like, you can use like one minute or three minutes, meaning how often that you will actually search the people for you. And then the number of requests I want to send three. Okay, this one, we just forget about the technical stuff first. Let's begin with the really, really easy to understand. Okay, so let's say my, your target client or my target client, we are targeting coach or founder or like, a, let's say you want to target an entrepreneur or even you can even, uh, target like mindset coach okay so let's say uh followed by a comma okay let's say these are your potential client the people that you want to work with your dream client you can just insert the keywords here all right and then um the message group is that after i after this friends connector helping me to add send them a friend request what kind of message that um, this French connector will be sending out. I will cover it later on. So let's say these are the keywords. These are the target clients. So right now, I'm just going to hit the run button. Okay, so let's see the magic. Right. So hit run. Okay, if let's say you guys can see that French connector started running. Okay, currently you see that it's automating because it's actually searching for people who have the certain keywords, coach and founder. Can you guys see that it stops here? Because they finally saw that this person has the founder 
over here. All right, so that's why it stop at uh, stop at there, and then it will take some time to actually send the friend request because friends connector doesn't want we don't want the uh, Facebook feel like we are very robotic, right? So it would it it wouldn't stop at Stephanie. It's because Stephanie doesn't have uh, like uh, the coach or founder the keywords inside. Okay, so okay, so this is uh, this is where you need to leave this on. Okay, the best way to work around friends connector is actually having a second screen monitor so that you can just leave this uh, leave this running uh, for a period of time without having it, it wouldn't affect your productivity at your work right the second the second tip is that you can actually run it while you're asleep <laughs> because obviously when you are sleeping you wouldn't be using the friends connector um so that uh, sorry you wouldn't be using a laptop that's where you leave the friends connected on then it wouldn't affect your 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 performance at work right so let's wait for i think we need to wait for 30 seconds um because just now i actually click 30 seconds here so let's wait for 30 seconds to send a friend request to nara yes it's now being sent Okay, not only it will send a friend request to Nara, it will also automatically, I did not touch anything, it will also automatically send a first message to Nara based on um, the message they already customized. Okay, this is how it works. Uh, I'm just not going to show very detailed for you guys, but then you guys get the idea how it works, right? So I just want to show you guys like, oh, it's running still. <laughs> so you guys get the idea. So I have to stop the script so that I can continue shooting for you guys. Okay, so you guys get how it works, right? <laughs> Comment down below if let's you understand. Okay, remember that we can send the first message um, to the new friends that we just added. So the settings, actually, you can set it up in this uh, friends connector, what we call as message segment. Okay, message segment is just like, uh, like can you imagine like, let's say right now I'm sending a friend request, I'll probably have like an introduction of myself. I'll probably say, hi, um, hi, let's say your name is August, okay? Hi August, this is June and I met you from this Facebook group. All right, this is the introduction segment where I want to tell um, the new friend that I added where I met them. And then the second will be something like a content, right? So the content, I'll probably say, how is this course, how is this software working for you so far? This is a question. The reasons that I'm asking a question in my content is so that I can get an answer. So that that's where we are able to build the connection right away by starting a conversation through a question, right? So what this Friends Connector Pro can help you to do is that you can always customize like different uh, message segments. Like for example, this introduction that I have is I tell people Aloha first name. I don't have to like, I don't have to be super general because what this uh, software will do is that they will find, they will automatically tag uh, the person's, the new friend I'm added and put their name inside here. So it becomes very, very personalized. And I, I tell them that, hey, you know what? This is my introduction. My name is June because I was born in June. Something that I find it very catchy and a lot of my friends love it. So that's why I put it as my intro. And then after that, I have the content. So the content is uh, depending on like yourself. Like for example, Let's say you're adding someone from, let's say, ClickFunnels group. Then you can you can um, customize your content to become like, I met you in a ClickFunnels official group. Uh, have you been using ClickFunnels uh, so far? How is it so far for you? So you ask a question. So what makes it so special for Friends Connector is that you can customize a lot of different message segments. Um, so let's say uh, for this particular message group, you're adding people from ClickFunnels. Of course, the content that you want to talk about is actually asking them questions related to ClickFunnels, right? So that's where uh, you can tell Friends Connector saying that, hey, Friends Connector, help me to send this particular ClickFunnels personalized message to this group of people where I added, right? So you can customize a lot of different uh, message segments and different groups. That's where you're able to set it uh, from the settings that I show you guys, right? Like, so that's why in this uh, message group, you can have a lot. I only have one right now. I only set up once. So that's where you can do so. You can have a lot of different message group for different uh, people that you added from. These are the good sites. So in essence, uh, I think Friends Connector Pro, the plus side is that it automates uh, the need of sending the friend request. You can kind of like having this software to send for you automatically. This is a plus side. And then the second thing is that not only sending friend requests, you can even personalize the message that you want to send them. 
Okay, that's a beautiful site. So let's uh, talk about the things that I wish um, this Google extension can improve or I wish that uh, I was I wish that it, it can actually improve so that it's even easier for me to for, for the user to use. Okay. Not everybody have a second screen, right? So if let's say you do not have a second screen, it will be very troublesome for you because uh, this lookup interval, we you'll probably set about three minutes or five minutes so that Facebook wouldn't detect us as a robot, right? So if let's say you only have one screen, it's very difficult for you because uh, the, the screen will keep popping up and then you can't really work. So that's why you either leave it, uh, leave it for you for ha having another choice is that you have to turn it on while you're asleep. So this is the things that I wish that they could improve. If let's say they can have it as a background running without uh, disturbing my workflow, it will be like even better. And the second thing that um, as usual, because it's actually a uh, Google extension is a software. So the best is that you wouldn't want to set the interval become like too short because we don't want uh, Facebook to detect us as a robot. Uh, but I assume that if let's say there's any automation tool out there, uh, it's still the same, right? So that would be the that would be the uh, second thing uh, that I wish that it could improve. But then I think there's no no no, no other thing that can be improved because any automation software, they will have this flaw. Okay. So which come down to, I think the second screen, scan, second monitor is definitely one thing that you want to consider. And also if let's say you only have one monitor, one screen, probably you really need to turn it on at night. Okay. Otherwise this software is quite simple to use. It's uh, very easy to understand. I really love the design and user interface. And I, I also know that there are also other functions which uh, call, I think it's called settings. Yeah, these settings, I haven't played around <laughs> on here, right? But it is probably talking about you can send you can send message when you want to decline a friend request uh, you receive from someone. I do not know whether you want to decline any friend request from someone or not, uh, but then you can do so. And also, you can also send a message when you receive a new friend request from someone, okay? So there is another part that you can automate. And you can send a message when you accept a friend request you receive from someone. So which which actually like, for example, someone added you, you want to decline them, you can send a message to them while you decline them. <laughs> but then it will be very weird that you want to send a message after you decline their friend request. And then the second thing I think is very useful is that whenever you receive a new friend request, you are afraid that um, these people are very weird people who added you just want to pitch you things or like a uh, maybe if let's say you're a lady you probably have the same similar experience as mine I receive a lot of really weird friend requests asking me whether I'm single or married so that's where you can use like the first message uh, send them a first message so that uh, you can filter them is it someone that you want to like uh, accept their friend request so this is very good for your organic marketing as well and another one it's uh, you can actually uh, delete the pending friend request that you send out like for example, they will actually, like I sent out a friend request and then it will actually automatically delete it. Can you guys see that? It's moving. <laughs> okay, so basically this is the tool. Um, of course, if let's say you guys are interested in getting it, you I actually have a, here we actually have a, like a special promo also. If let's say you are interested, um, you can actually send me a message, uh, text me personally, send me a friend request, say that you saw my uh, video and then you wish to get this Friends Connected Pro as a special price, then I will hook you up with someone that I know, okay? So, uh, of course, uh, if let's say you have any question regarding this tool, feel free to ask me as well. As usual, uh, this is what I would advise when getting a tool. Do not get it if let's say um, you are not going to use it. <laughs> because after being buying so many software, right, this is where we are going to suck into. Um, I bought a lot of software where um, maybe I don't... Okay, out of 10 software that I bought, maybe I wouldn't be using 20%, right? So only get this software if let's say you feel like this is going to supercharge your game in organic marketing in Facebook as well as going to reduce your workload. Okay, so far after I'm getting this software, I actually talked to my assistant saying that, hey, actually there are a lot more important tasks that I need her help. So I... I asked her to actually focus on all those main core tasks. Definitely this software is going to uh, help 
need to save my time as well as my assistant time as well. So that's why only get this software if let's say you think that uh, it's going to help you to save your time. Uh, do not get this software out of fear of missing out, okay? So if let's say you are interested in getting this tool, feel free to send me a message. Uh, you guys know my, uh, you probably know my Facebook, right? My Facebook is facebook.com slash story and remember that and we are only able to give this uh, at a very special pri price for a very limited number of people so do check it out and do send me a message don't worry even though you send me a message you just want to know this software a little bit more it's totally fine as well uh even though you, in, eventually you're not getting it it's fine because i want to make sure that you're only getting software and tool that is going to help you save time but then not like you're getting it and not using it okay so that's all with my live today and remember to join my facebook group that is called www.amazingstory.co and I will see you in my next live then. Take care. Bye.